Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. We are continu continuing on the journey of curiosity. And today will be, I'm, to be honest, I'm a little worried about today's project. <laughs> Not worried. I just, it's outside my comfort zone quite a bit. And we talked last week, I believe it was last week, I um, I shared my inspiration from Morgan Harper Nichols' book, and I'm still in that chapter, and talking about how when we're curious and we're learning something new, things are awkward. Well, all of my projects that I have been doing over the last week have been, because I've been practicing and doing different things and things for the membership and all that kind of stuff, and I'm really trying hard to step outside my comfort zone, and they've been awkward. So we'll be awkward together and um i'm just and normally all of my curiosity that i've been sharing with you over the last year those are the things that i usually do behind the scenes and then everyone thinks oh she just it just comes so naturally your ideas and all those kinds of things and that's why i wanted to share this with you guys my journey of curiosity because i go through this regularly trying to find new ideas and learn new things so um, today is is very new and I have sat with this for a little bit and it's not that difficult of a project. However, I can't quite figure out how to, well, I'll show you. I'll explain it to you in just a minute. So the stencils that I use today will be on sale um, and the links to the supplies and all the stencils will be on the blog and the link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box. And I also want to say, if you are enjoying or enjoy my videos, please subscribe and like. It really helps me and helps my channel grow. And so I would de definitely appreciate that. I never, I don't say that enough, um, but I would love that if you guys, and please leave a comment if you have questions. I really try to get back to everybody that has a question about something. So let's take a look at what I have planned, what I've got up my sleeve. So I was going through my, this is a, upper, this is a different uppercase magazine. It's epi or episode issue number 56, which is the one right before the one I've been using. And they do a feature, they always feature an artist. <clears throat> and I stopped at this one because this is really up my alley. And I don't know, I hope you can see it, but this artist, and this artist is, let me make sure I give credit, is, um, oh shoot, Layla Reza, Reza, Reza. Let me look here, because I did a deep dive on her because I wanted to study, I wanted to really look at her work because it's so intriguing, like this one, oh my gosh. So Layla Reza, um, but this one here, oh my gosh. Ha. But she takes <clears throat> images of vintage florals and it, it transposes them onto paper, whether it be tissue paper or I don't know her technique. And then she uses vintage papers behind it in some creative way or uh, and she creates on just a single book page. This is just a single book page and then she frames it and she sells it <clears throat> single book page. But what she does is they are very abstract. So she takes this really um, traditional piece of art, like the florals, and she pairs it <clears throat> with some really interesting pattern. And so like this one here, this is a book page as well. And she's got some of the vintage flora on there, but they're like spread out. And the back part of it, it's real, you can barely see it. And then she has all these incredible designs and it's all collage. It's all collage. I mean, she's painted the background, of course, but I, um, so like this one, well, let's just start with this one. Cause this one, once I checked, when I, once I saw this, I said, okay, I have to know more about her. And then I went to her website and this one just really spoke to me. And so I could see me create like doing a piece of tissue paper and then laying it down on top of vintage paper, which I have done. So I wanted to do something a little bit different, um, but she like she has just these random bits of pieces of paper that are sticking out in and she ha like 
one here, one here, one right here, one right here. And then like, it's like these, she's holding these two pieces of paper together. And I love that. So I want to, st I, I like this idea because, um, and I want to circle this. This right here, this kind of strips of paper like it's a stitch of holding the papers together. I want to try and incorporate that into my layout to kind of create the two pages that I want to create. And I'll, sh and I'll talk more about that. But like she's just got th this beautiful floral with really <clears throat> kind of rough sketches of paint and then random bits of things just here and there. And it's, I'm so sometimes so linear and so connected to all the parts that having just a single piece of collage paper randomly in a spot. And while maybe this particular piece of art isn't my style, this one is. And so I want to example, like this is the, just a piece up here. And is it the color? Is it the style? Is it the shape? What is it? And so I went through and really looked at some of her pieces and um, they're very intriguing. I love all the bits and that's the collage part of me that I'm like, and I'm always amazed because she gets some interesting shapes too with her collage. But like she's got half a sunflower, which I like, I love that. But I've never thought to do that because it feels very imperfect. And the whole point of this curiosity journey is to let go of imperfection. Like she's just got some bits here and I'm sure they're telling the story of whatever she's creating. And then these dots that lead off to the edge. Just, I, I, I love it. I've, just, I've sat and looked at all of these for quite some time. Like all of them have this element of a vintage floral in it, which is really interesting to me. And this one here, this maybe is not a vintage floral, this is a vintage butterfly right here. But some type of vintage botanical or nature inspired piece in her work. And then some little bits here and some little bits here. Yeah, I just really, really intrigued all these little bits. So that is my inspiration. And I have looked at my, and I'm going to do it on a journal page. And I'm going to set this down here. So I've got my journal. This is my Sunday inspiration journal. And I want to just kind of walk through. So I've got a book page out here. And I'm, of course, I'm doing it differently than she is. I want to do it kind of my style. And I want to do it in my journal. I've chosen a vintage floral and I've got lots of bits of things and I even saved the bits that I when I was cutting away my flower thinking that maybe they would end up in this it just feels not natural for me to have an odd shaped thing Part, but I want to try and connect these and so thinking about connecting them I have other papers out here I have some other vintage papers so like I have this one and I also have this sheet that kind of looks that is like leather this is actually a collage pack and that will be on sale this week this is part of that same collage pack and so what I thought I would do was like cut strips of paper to connect them to each other as I bring it over to the other side of the journal page. So like if I put another sheet <clears throat> of paper here, connect them with those strips so that they look tied or sewn together. Um, that's kind of my thought process on that and being able to connect this to this. Then um, I have out so this collage pack will be on sale this week. Then I have, she always has some bit of color in there. And I'm, and I, she paints, she always paints this background somehow. Um, and I'm gonna do teal in the background. And then I have some bits of magenta because these are the things that are me. I'm taking the inspiration from her art, figuring out how I can make it work for my style and yet still step outside my comfort zone and 
take, like, I've had this bit of collage paper that was torn out of my journal that I love. I, I don't know why I love it. And so I'm thinking that maybe I can use bits of it to kind of add to what I'm going to be putting over here. So I, I've got some real strong contrast and differences in my, in my magenta collage papers. And this is just part of an old palette. And then I want to add some of the teal that's in the background over here as well. So I've got to find my teal collage papers before I get there. Um, <clears throat> and then hopefully put it all together in a way that feels okay for me. Not for anybody else, but for me. And, and hopefully in the process, the whole point is to learn something new. Because in whatever I'm doing there's something that will happen. It's like these little things that, of stitching the line, the pieces together. I love that idea. And I have an idea for that in an upcoming project. So all of that is there to serve the purpose of adding some new tool to our tool belt or adding some new inspiration to our, our works or getting new ideas for, you know, where we're going as we create. Now, I also have a couple more florals because I didn't know if I wanted to bring a floral or even like she did half of that sunflower if I did half of a piece of one of these. So and this is this is from this collage pack and this collage pack will be on sale this week too. But like I, I printed this one out because I thought well you know I could take one little bit of one of the of something. So I, I'm not exactly sure yet. <clears throat> And I do have an extra, because these were two sheets together, <clears throat> to kind of bring over here to possibly, you know, I don't know. And I'm always worried about making it cohesive, but I, I want to try and let go of that just a little bit. You know, I always, you know, the rules, there's this, uh, a, a quote that says, um, the rules are meant to be broken, like learn the rules and then break them. So I've always been taught about composition and balance and all of those kinds of things and maybe I throw all I don't see me, myself throwing it all out on this it's just I don't know but that's the goal is to, to be outside my comfort zone um, okay now I what I have done on the background of my journal so far is I've just gessoed it it had some paint on it from one, like two Sundays ago when I was talking about just do something on the page it had some scribble paint on it so I just went over it roughly with my gesso to kind of cover it up. I am going to come back and just do a simple wash over the back because I want the I want the collage and how I lay the collage to be the focal to be the star to really kind of lead into the focal point and to really step out and add some really interesting differences and she always does it kind of up at the top so I'm going to I'm going to see if I can do that. Um, the other thing that I have out is I have this this is the Moroccan tile 2 stencil and I wanted to grab some of one of my collage papers whether it be neutral or color and it could be color and it maybe maybe it'll be teal because <clears throat> I want to bring in some teal but I thought I would stencil out the square of it and then just use a part or a half that's my thought on using this this one will be on sale and then I do have a couple of um, just pattern making for some additional interesting marks to bring in um, and I don't know if I'll do it on collage paper and then cut it out or if I'll just actually do it on the page. I probably will just do it on the page once I kind of get everything down and settled. Um, so I will be using raw umber for my wash. Just my regular old raw umber. And then I will be using what I've got it. Where's my teal? I just had it out here. Here it is. So I think I will be using this one or maybe a more greener. I might do a, a little bit of a mix and make it just a little bit greener um, teal than this one because this one's pretty bright. And um, 
some blacks and some whites, so black and white gesso, and possibly a little bit of magenta. Um, we'll, we'll see about that. So I think that's all the paint that I will be using because most of my design is going to be collage paper, I think. <laughs> That I've said I think every Sunday, so you know that's that's the plan. Okay, <clears throat> that's it I believe for supplies and things. A wash, then my collage paper. Yes. Um, oh, and I, you know what, I will be. Oh no, I won't. I'm not. I decided not to stencil out. I have a quote. I have one of the quotes from last week's um, inspiration from Morgan Harper Nichols. Let go of perfection. That's my goal for this, this page. It's really hard. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's it. Okay. So that's my idea. And I don't know why I feel so out of my comfort zone. It just, because I, as I was laying it out, I just, it felt awkward, for lack of a better word, to put just this one random piece, one random piece of collage paper up in the corner and not tie it to the rest of the piece. And yet, I like it in her work. And so that's the point of all of your, our curiosity is to stretch ourselves and say, what if? And that's exactly what I'm doing. And so as I was um, putting all of this together, and I, and I was still planning to kind of talk through some more of Morgan Harper Nichols' book. And really, honestly, what I'm doing is exactly what we talked about last week and letting it be awkward and hard and joyful all at the same time, because that's exactly what has happened this morning as I put it all together. I was super excited and um, learning about this artist and oh, I love her style. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make it my own and put it in my style. And then I started putting it together and I'm like, that feels awkward and doesn't feel comfortable. And that's, I don't like that piece up there. And then I'm, well, but, but that's the point. And then I was back to joyful. And so um, the whole point is to learn something new. And the whole other point is, as we, like Morgan Harper Nichols said, and I talked about it last week, the six signs of us staying curious. And the number one one is you're becoming less worried about what others think about your ideas. So while I want to inspire you, this is also my own personal journey. And, I, and I, I hope with all of my heart that it does inspire you, but this is also me just doing what I need to do to find creativity and find joy and find new ways of creating. And um, the, the other part is noticing that the inner critic is not as loud as it used to be. And that's so true because I know that even if I end up doing this journal page and it is not anything that I think that it would be, I'm still really excited about it because I'm pushing myself to a place that's not comfortable. And that's always, always where the best things happen. And so um, I'm really, really excited about the process. Maybe not necessarily the end result, but the process. And I talked about this last week, just fall in love with making. And that's the whole point fall in love with the process and learn the new thing as you go and quiet that inner critic because that inner critic will stop us every single time and it almost did because i thought no let's i'm going to look for something some other inspiration i'm going to look for something else i'm going to look for something that's easier i'm going to look for something that will be maybe inspire other people and, what, and which is, you know, why I do what I do, but I'm also here to inspire myself and to let go of all of the inner critic that happens every time we step up to the table and create, let it go and just make. And that's what I've been doing. And I've made a lot of pieces over the last six months that have been like, eh, it's okay, but it's also joyful because the process and what I'm learning and what I'm gathering, the, the notes that I'm putting in my art journal, like my actual journal that I, I create from, 
the tools that I'm learning and the things that I'm finding out about myself is invaluable and will carry me through to some amazing pieces of art. And that's why we do what we do. We show up and we fall in love with making and we quiet that inner critic. So I hope you can, I hope you enjoy the project today and that you learn something and that it might inspire you. And I also hope that it inspires you to quiet that critic and just do it. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It only matters that you are falling in love with making. All right, my loves, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I hope it's restful and peaceful. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.
Okay, loves, I don't normally pop back in at the end of the video, but I had to because I'm going to put my last little bits down and then I'll, I'll go and, you know, make my marks and shade and different things like that. But I am so glad that I did not let my inner critic talk me out of this because once I found my groove, I love it. I absolutely am thrilled. It, it was uncomfortable, like I've got these random things over here and, and you know, nothing really quite makes sense, but that's the point. It's abstract. And that's when I look at the inspiration artist, that's her stuff too. Um, and yet it's still intriguing. And so all the parts take you around the page and still keep you interested. And I love it. I cannot, I'm, I can't wait to, you know, get this dry and get some shading and I'm going to put my quote down. And typically I kind of keep it with my, my um, main focal point, but I'm going to break the rules because that's what this was all about. So I think I'll just put it right here. Let go of perfection. So this is a prime example of not letting our inner critic get, let go of perfection, <laughs> um, get the best of us. Okay, so super, once I, once I kind of initially got some of my stuff together and I got my, you know, ideas flowing, this over here, I'm not, I, like this piece, I wish I had made it a little bit longer, but it's okay. It's not anything that's too distracting. This piece here, I wish I had a little, like, maybe if I darken up some. A little bit more magenta in there. Yeah, see, I like that much better. But all in all, I am so thrilled. I love the connecting parts. I love it. I love it all. So um, I just finished my last little bits of things to go on here. I'm going to get this good and dry and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to shade and add any finishing touches and scribbles or whatever that I might need. I want to try and rein myself in, which is what I did because I, I started cutting things and I was going to start and I'm like, nope, stick with the plan. So very pleased. All right, I just had to pop in and share that with you because I'm so excited that this came together like it did.